finally official, On One shared the release date of Photo Raw 2024, and if you haven't caught it, we're getting it on November 2nd, 2024. Now every day, the On One team is gonna be releasing sneak peeks of Photo Raw 2024. On my channel, I'm gonna be releasing videos every day, not about Photo Raw 2024, about 2023.5, and things that you can try when you get into 2024. And then on the 2nd of November, I'm gonna have a live stream here on the channel, and it's gonna be at 7 Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, if you haven't already picked up a version of 2024 and you still want to, consider using my affiliate code or coupon code, which is FREEWILLPHOTOS20, and it's gonna save you some money when you go to checkout. If you got questions about 2024 or just on one in general, you can shoot me an email at freewillphotos at gmail.com or you can just leave a comment down below and if it's something I can answer in comments then I will. So let's jump into the computer and take a look at the first video that I'm going to be releasing for this series. Here we are at a photo of an airplane that I took at the Air and Space Museum and today what we're going to be doing is making this black and white and then applying a bleach bypass. So what I've already done is I've selected on one portrait as my camera profile and I think the exposure here looks perfectly fine just the way it is so I'm going to leave that alone. We'll jump over to the effects section and the first thing I'm going to do is add a black and white filter. This just turns the photo black and white. I'm not going to do anything with this because I want you to see the effect that the bleach bypass actually has on the image. And in my opinion, this is one of the best ways of editing black and white photos. This is a stylistic approach as well. So we're gonna add the bleach bypass to the image. And as you can see, it just adds more contrast to the overall image itself. How does this really help us out? I'm gonna crank up on the amount so you can see it's just darkening down those dark areas and the brighter areas are getting brighter. If you look over here on the right side of the image, if I pull this all the way to the left, you can see how those are those whites are getting a little bit more dull. And then if I pull it to the right, they're getting a little bit more extreme. That's the beauty of using this on a black and white photo, because when you only have black and white in an image and you're separating that tonal contrast, it's going to work out. So what I like to do is just pull up on the amount and mess around with the brightness slider. Now for this image, I think that it's cool to get some of the inside of this engine or turbine, whatever it's called, I don't really know. Uh, so I'm gonna pull up on the brightness quite a bit and you can see I'm starting to reveal some of that information that's in there. Now, one of the other things that I like to do is pull on the contrast slider. And what this is doing is it's darkening those dark areas and brightening the brightest areas. And this is how you start to get that uh, true separation of black and white. And I'm okay with this being a little overdone for the sake of YouTube compression, as well as just the stylistic approach. I don't, I don't plan to print this. Uh, it's just for my own personal library and probably posting to Vero. So what I'm going to do is pull up on the detail slider here just a bit because that's going to give me a lot of great detail. Now, what I'm not really liking about this particular thing is I don't want the detail everywhere. I really just want the detail on this plane. So I'm going to pull that down and I'll add in some detail separate from this particular filter. So if I turn off the bleach bypass and turn it back on now, there's too much brightness happening around everything else except for the area that I care about the most. So what I'm going to do is hit local adjustment and I already have a vignette that I've put on here just to save time. I'm just going to go ahead and add that. And look, now it's drawing the viewer's eye into the thing that I care about the most. And if I wanted to, I can come in here and I can modify this just a little bit more. So I'm really just pulling that viewer's eye and that's open to your own preference interpretation. However you want to do that. Uh, I could even pull this down if, if so be, but what I did want to do is bring up some of the detail that's on the inside here. So the way that I'm going to do that is I'm going to click add filter and then I'm going to click on tone enhancer. And I like to use the detail slider here on tone enhancer 
because I think it does a little bit better job at pulling out details than using the structure under local adjustment. So I'll just pull up on detail until I get what I'm looking for out of there and just pulling it back and forth. You can see it's kind of like just turning on the lights on the inside of this particular engine. And then what I'm going to do is just grab my mask, hit the letter B on the keyboard, and I am going to invert my mask first. So that way I'm going to change it over to paint in hitting shift X. It's the keyboard shortcut. And then I'm just going to paint this over the turbine itself or whatever this is, the engine. I'm going to call it the engine. And then if I turn this, oh, uh, looks like I had the perfect brush on. So let me turn that off real quick because I want to get a good selection in here. And then if I turn this off and on, you can see it just brings a little bit of pop of detail. And I really appreciate that. I, I enjoy it. And I also get access to, let me minimize this, I also get access to the clarity slider. So if I wanted to, I could pull this up as well. And that starts to do a little bit of um, opening up the contrast on the inside of this engine, making it more detail oriented, giving the viewer something, some, giving the viewer a little bit more interest to look at. Here is the before and here is the after. Hopefully you found some value in today's content. If you did, smash the like button and come check out tomorrow's content. Uh, don't know exactly what I'm going to be sharing, but there's going to be content tomorrow. If you want to pick up a copy of Almond Photo Raw, please consider using the affiliate code uh, Free Will Photos 20 to save a little bit of money at checkout. Until next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.